Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. I'm Urza and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am this video a little late, uh, but because I am this video a little late, I have already read like one book and second book ka half. But anyways, this video is about why I chose those 21 books to read for the whole year. This is a video which will tell you why I chose those 21 books to read. Actually, because book ke piche jo synopsis hota hai, that is book ke piche ka this wala part. And I'll be telling you that in just a single line. So you will get an idea what the book is basically about. Now the first book is Ram, the Scoin of Ikshwaku by Amish Tripathi. Now ye pehla book hai Ram Chandra series ka. And Amish Tripathi is a historical fiction writer. Uska jo pehla series tha, that is the Immortals of Meluha. I really love that book because I really like to read a different perspective of the same tale that we have been hearing since childhood. Now this is based on the epic tale of Ramayana. The book starts with the war between Ayodhya and Ravan who is a demon king slash trader. Ram is the hated prince. Now my second book is the second book in the Ramchandra series that is Sita, the warrior of Mithila. Now this book is about Sita's life and well the third book is Ravan uh, which is about Ravan's life. Now this book, this series is that the first book that is Ram is about Ram's life and the second book is about Sita's life and the third book is about Ravan's life till the incident of Sita Haran that is Sita's kidnapping. And for fourth book, which is not yet out, Usme there will be incidents after Sita Haran. Now the fourth book is The House of Earth and Blood, which is uh, the first part of the Crescent City series written by Sara Jimas. Now Sara Jimas is my favorite fantasy author. So this book uh, is about the main character, Bryce Quinlan, who is half fae and half human. She lives in the Crescent City and then there is a brutal murder which shakes the whole foundations of the city along with uh, destroying her whole life. After some years or so, the murderer strikes again and she is forced to uncover the truth, uh, truth about it. Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. She is another famous fantasy author. Now, the Chain of Gold is the first part of the Last Star series. Its second and third part of the release one year. Its second part, which is the chain of iron, is available for pre-order on Amazon. Now, in this book, the protagonist Cordelia Carstairs is a shadow hunter who is trained as a warrior, and then her father gets accused of a certain crime. So she and her brother go to London to save their family, and then they they, they meet their friends where she gets pulled into their friend's world which is full of vampire, warlocks. The Book Thief. It's a young adult historical fiction. This book is based during the times of Hitler when the Jews had to hide from the Nazis. This book is basically narrated by death himself. So I just found this plot, uh, this, uh, plot or storyline like really interesting. Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. This is a thriller fantasy. Its main character, Alex Stern, who is a dropout and the sole survivor of a horrific unsolved crime, joins Yale to start fresh. But then she is tasked with watching over the secret societies of Yale. Then a dead girl turns up in the campus. And she is the only one who won't accept the answers that the police and the campus administration have to give. Because she's the only one who knows uh, what this what the secret societies can do that is they can raise people from the dead but at the same time they can also feed on the living gross but that is what made it more interesting to read angels and demons by dan brown now a lot of you suggested me to read dan brown ki books and so here i am with the first book on my tbr list so, uh, this is a thriller suspense conspiracy crime fiction now robert langdon who is the main character of this story is shocked to find that a legendary ancient society is well and murderously active. Then a physicist is brutally murdered and his last discovery 
was missing. So he is the one who then goes to find what the society is up to and what is its motive. Aurora Rising. This is a sci-fi adventure fiction and it has been set in the year 2380 when the Aurora Academy has been assigned with their first mission and Tyler Jones gets stuck with Drex, that is the untouchable, and well, they aren't his only problem. He then saves a girl named Aurora from interdimensional space who was in Cairo sleep for around, for around two centuries. Next book is Aurora Burning, which is the second part of the Aurora Cycle series. Well, it's the continuation of the first book, except with obviously more problems. Next book is The Palace of Illusions by Chitra Banerjee. It's a historical fiction. It's a story about Draupadi slash Panchali, who was the wife of the Pandavas in Mahabharata, in the epic tale of Mahabharata. Well, it's a story about a strong woman in a man's world. Next is Chanakya's Chant by Ashwin Shanghi. It's a historical fiction. Last year, I read Ashwin Shanghi ka Krishna ki read kiya tha. And well, I really liked it, except for some points. Uh, but this book is basically divided into two parts. The first part is where Chanakya heads in the defeat of, of Alexander the Great. And the second part, which is said two and a half millennia later, that is in, in recent times, he is born again as Gangasar Mishra. And well, he is not very happy about the, the democratic system, which is full of corruption, greed, and on his side, he has a powerful and beautiful and smart slum child. So this, this has to be interesting. The next book is The Godfather by Mario Puzo. Well, this is my dad's book. And it's a crime novel. It's a portrayal of the 1940s criminal underworld. It's a compelling story about blackmail, murder and family values. These violent delights. It's a historical, young adult, sci-fi and fantasy as well as a stunning retelling of Shakespeare in Romeo and Juliet. I know kuch zada hi khichdi paki hui hai. But it's a Romeo and Juliet retelling set in the 1920s Shanghai, a gangster run city where the star-crossed exes put, a, put aside their blood fluid and join their forces to prevent their city from being terrorized by a monster. Next is The Other Side of the Sky. This is a romance fantasy. It's about a Prince North who lives in the sky and about Nim. I'm not really sure about the, about the pronunciation, but uh, Nim is a living goddess on the surface and well, their lives are entwined with a terrifying prophecy. And well, I love everything which has prophecy in it. The non-fiction books. Atomic Habits. It talks about four laws on how to build good habits as well as how to remove bad ones. The best thing that I like about this book is that there are examples hai and scientifically proven data. Hai. So this is very practical. Next is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. This is a self-help book book which basically teaches you about finance. It's about the author Robert's story when he grew up with two dads. That is his real father and his best friend's dad who was the rich father and how both men shaped his thoughts about money. The 5 AM Club. This is a self-development book. It's about how to maximize your productivity by rising early. And I think I really need this book because right now it's 2 AM. And tomorrow I have my online classes which start from 7.50. So this is about how to wake up early, feeling inspired and focused. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. Ikigai. It is a self-help book and Ikigai in Japanese means a reason to live. It's basically a place of balance where your needs, desires, ambitions as well as satisfaction meet. And well, this book helps you find your balance. And I think I really need balance in my life. Next is Give and Take. It is another self-help book. Well, this talks about what else do you require, require except hard work, talent, as well as passion. Like, 
these are the main requirements but except these what is that one plus point that you require that will take you over the edge next is big magic this is a another self-help book it's on how to live a creative life and let go of your fear of doing things differently well guys that was it for my video ये सारे बुक्स जिसकी मैंने बात की उसकी लिंक्स मैंने डिस्क्रिप्शन में डाल दिए हैं तो आप वहां से जाकर चेकआउट कर सकते हैं एंड अगर आपको कोई बुक खरीदनी है तो भी आप वहां से जाके डायरेक्टली खरीद सकते हैं ना आप एमेजोन में भी जाके सर्च कर सकते हैं डायरेक्टली लेकिन आप अगर जो लिंक्स मैंने प्रोवाइड डिस्क्रिप्शन में उससे खरीदेंगे तो आई विल गेट लाइक अ टीनी मिनी अमाउंट क्योंकि दोज आर माई अफिलियट लिंक्स एंड आपको कुछ एक्स्ट्रा भी पे नहीं करना पड़ेगा यू विल बी पेइंग द सेम अमाउंट दैट यू वुड गेट नॉर्मली ऑन एमेजॉन ऑल्सो इफ यूर सम वन हु डजेंट माइंड रीडिंग बुक्स ऑन अ डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म लाइक फोन या फिर लैपटॉप्स या फिर इफ यू हैव किंडल आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ पी डी एफ ओपन ऑन किंडल बट एनी वेज तो आई ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडेड अ गूगल ड्राइव का फोल्डर इन माई डिस्क्रिप्शन उसका लिंक मैंने दिया हुआ है तो उस पर क्लिक करके यू विल गे आपको बहुत सारे बुक्स का जिस जो मैंने इस इस वीडियो में बात की है उनका पीडीएफ फॉर्म में मिल जाएगा तो आप वहां से डायरेक्टली भी रीड कर सकते हैं यू वॉन्ट द पी डी एफ ऑफ सम अदर बुक्स यू कुड आई द मेल मी और डी एम मी ऑन माई इंस्टाग्राम दैट इज बुक्स ऑफ फैंटेसी लैंड एंड माई अदर मेन अकाउंट ऑफ इंस्टाग्राम दैट इज एट द रेट ऊर्जा वन वन ऊर्जा अंडर स्कोर वन वन एंड अगर आपको ये वीडियो पसंद आया तो डोंट फर्गेट टू लाइक कमेंट शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड वेल आई विल मीट यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो Until then bye